Hello, welcome to ExcelExperts.com, Teach Yourself Excel lesson number 26. So we just created some pivot tables. Now what I want to show you is how to create a chart directly based off those pivot tables and show you that it dynamically updates when you update the data and the pivot tables and it all feeds through seamlessly. If you want to follow along with this, go to ExcelExperts.com, Teach Yourself Excel, Lesson number 26, create a chart, download the starting sheet, and follow the step-by-step -step instructions. Let's do that now. So, on the monthly summary sheet, select cell A4. On the insert menu on your ribbon, choose column, and select the very first one. Now, I'll just close that to give us some more space. I can drag this and notice it's now provided me with a nicely segmented summary of all my expenditure. And this will increase dynamically with new data added. So let me just show you that. I'll go back to data. I'll add a day to this one. I'll choose computer. Um, and hard disk 200 and I'll copy this formula down as we've done in previous lesson go to here right click and choose refresh boom and there we have it an updated chart based on our data now we want to go to the summary by expense type click on A4 choose insert pi 2d pi and there we have immediately a summary of our expenditure by expense type so we're spending most of our expenditure on entertainment on computers and a bit on entertainment it's quite useful let's go to necessary do exactly the same thing insert pi 2d pi and there we have it a pie chart of our necessary expenditure split between necessary and unnecessary and what we can immediately see from this is that I haven't actually got a lot of unnecessary expenditure that I can cut out which is not so good for me if I want to tighten my belt and that's it on inserting charts all of the charts are dynamic and they'll update whenever you up update the data and then right click and refresh the pivot table you've been listening to lesson number 26 on creating a chart